Here's a GRE algebra question. Let's take a look. A certain library has 10,000 books in its archives. There are J English books written before the year 1900 and K English books written in 1900 or later. So we want to know what's greater. The number of books written in a language other than English or this value right here. Well, this is what's called an overlapping set question. You could also call it a categories question because you have multiple different categories of books that overlap with each other. And when I get a question like this, I like to represent it with a matrix. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to draw a matrix right here. Boom, 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 and like this. Boom, boom, boom. So here's the story. The categories of books that we have, we either have English or not English. And we either have old books or young books, right? So English, not English, old, young. And a book can be old English or old non-English, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what needs to be true is that all of these books have to add up to the number 10,000, right? So 10,000 is the number that we have to hit uh, when we add all of the cells together. Okay, well, let's start filling this table. There are J English books written before the year 1900. So English before 1900, so old, is going to be that right there. And there are K English books written in 1900 or later. So English young, right? Call that K right there. Boom. All right. So this column, when you add these two together, has to equal J plus K. And what are we trying to compare? What are the values that we're trying to compare here? The number of books written in a language other than English. So that's this one right here, right? The number of books written in a language other than English is that right there, or the number 10,000 uh, uh, 10, minus J minus K. So we're comparing these two um, columns with each other. Well, let's look at this, 10,000 minus J minus K. And I could actually, if I wanted to set this up as an equation, I could say J plus K plus this number right here, I'll keep that as like a blob, is equal to 10,000. Well, do you see where this is going? If I subtract J and I subtract K, then I find that 10,000 minus J minus K is in fact equal to the number of books written in a language other than English, meaning that these two quantities are exactly the same. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.